All right, back in the care. And as you can see outside, it's a pretty nice day. A little bit of overcast, but not too bad. Figured we could go outside here and take a look at the bezel that I've been waiting for the longest time. And uh, I, I continuously come out here with the Oxidol and just, you know, sprayed some Oxidol on it. Just let it bake a little bit and then come back, spray some more on it. And it hasn't seemed to really change too much more than what it is right now. Uh, it seems to be pretty decent for the most part. I mean, it's a little bit of cream color in certain areas, but it's not too bad. Uh, on the front part as well, you can see there's a little bit of, uh, you know, it's, it's gone away a little bit more here in the front, but still, it's, um, you know, it's not too bad. There's a little bit of discoloration on it, but... I, I am pretty satisfied with the way it is so far. And to give you guys a little bit of a comparison, I figured I could show you guys. If you remember seeing the last video that I put up with the room tour, or if you've seen any of the videos recently with the Super Neo 29, you can definitely see that the bezel on that is brown, but maybe some people don't know how brown or how yellow. So I figured I could bring this thing out and show you. Here is the bezel that was on the Super Neo 29. Uh, just a few minutes ago and I just took it off and I'm probably gonna try and do the same thing but you guys can see a bit of a comparison here with the new bezel when I go to put that on uh, it's not gonna fit in there unfortunately but if I put them down here side by side you guys can definitely see there's a huge difference between the two I mean it's like night and day so this should make the Super Neo 29 look pretty sexy, I think. I'm pretty happy to see that it's actually come this far because I don't think it was exactly this yellow. Maybe it was. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a long time. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's gone from this to this. So can't complain about that at all. So the next part here, what I'm going to do for the last section is I'm going to scrub this up, the white parts here, with a little bit of some magic eraser and kind of touch it up, see if I can get it just a little bit better. And then we'll go ahead and slap that thing back together and put it on the cab and I'll show you guys a, uh, a final product, what the cab looks like with the new parts on it. So this is a little bit of an intro part here and I will be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, so as you can see here, here is uh, the new bezel on there. It might look uh, actually you know, somewhat decent through the camera. Uh, up, pers uh, up in person, you can see that there's, uh, there's still some discoloration to it. You know, it's not perfect, but that is a million times better than what it did look like. And uh, I'm happy with that. So as you can see, at least it kind of matches the rest of the, uh, the cab around it. You know, it kind of has that similar pattern going on. It's no longer a two colored monster here. It's just got one pretty consistent tone going on, which I'm pretty happy about. And uh, yeah. And like you can see here, here's here's the uh, the bright white and then here's the little bit cream colored white, but not too bad. But just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of what the new cab looks like now that it's gotten a little bit of a makeover, I suppose, and looking a little bit better than what it did before. Not such a, a long video, but I'm going to have to try and put my monitor back up here so I can get everything wired back up again. But yeah, that is... Uh, that's it. That's the end of it. <laughs> so that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. That just makes it look two-tone, doesn't it? <laughs>